Diabetic retinopathy starts with parasites, injury, and thickening of capillaries, basal membrane, due to high levels of glucose, reduced to sorbitol. Parasites' absence causes a focal dilation in the capillary or looping to form microaneurysm. Microaneurysms located in the ganglion cell layer in the inner capillary plexus adjacent to areas of capillary non-perfusion. They are seen during fundoscopy as tiny red dots, often temporal to the fovea. Microaneurysms are the earliest sign of diabetic retinopathy and may thrombose. Or, due to blood retinal barrier breakdown, they may leak plasma over time, resulting in accumulation of lipoprotein and lipid-filled macrophages, forming what we call exudate. Exudates develop in the outer plexiform layer at the junction of normal and edematous retina, rhombus in small vessels and dysfunction of endothelial cells of precapillary arterioles lead to retinal hemorrhages, which they are either superficial in the nerve fiber layer that have a flame shape because of the architecture and organization of retinal nerve fibers, layer, or deep hemorrhages. From the venous end of capillaries to the compact middle layers of the retina, resulting in dot and blot configuration. Dot hemorrhages are small and can't be indistinguishable clinically from microonerisms. Blot hemorrhages are larger. Small vessels occlusion leads to ischemia for nerve axons, which become swollen and known as cystoid bodies. Neural debris accumulates in the retinal nerve fiber layer to form small, fluffy, whitish superficial lesions called cotton wool spots, presence of those often associated with other ischemic signs. Venous changes due to venous wall dysfunction include venous beating, where a focal narrowing and dilation are seen along the vessel path. This sign represents a moderate severity of the disease. Venous tortuosity and venous looping. Intraretinal microvascular abnormalities, or IRMA, are arteriolar venular shunts bypassing the capillary bed as an attempt to restore oxygen supplementation to the ischemic areas, but they never cross major vessels. This sign represents a moderate to severe disease with ischemic event and often associated with cotton wool spots.